Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Papa Bear. Welcome to the channel. And we're going to see if uh, this thing will spin Wheel of Fortune style. It's not, I don't think it's really built for that, but we're going to see if it'll work. See if this is high enough to fit a coil underneath. And what is that? That is a pulse motor rotor that I built from a 3D uh, printer. <clears throat> uh, there's eight magnets here. It's a 10 inch rotor. Uh, it's 25 millimeters thick. With 20 millimeter magnets in it, so there's a little bit of room there. I don't know. Um, if I make another one, I'll probably make it plumb, like 20 millimeter to 20 millimeter. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty level, even, Steven. The bearings just kind of fit right snug in there. They're flange bearings, so it's really tight. But they don't go all the way in. They're probably going to be really easy to get out if I want to get them out. Hopefully. All right, so what I want to see is if a coil... I'm just getting the dimensions down here. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna work. Got a little bit of room there, a little bit of wheel room. Nice. So I'll <clears throat> probably end up making uh, a special coil <clears throat> of <clears throat> either 14 gauge wire which is this size. This is 14 gauge right here. Fourteen AWG. One point six two eight millimeters in diameter. So that's fat wire right there. And just fill up one of those bobbins with it and find out how many turns it's worth. I don't know right now offhand how many turns that would be. I think it would be about 50. Or I got one millimeter um, that we could use. This is just for a drive coil. Or we could do a bifiler drive coil with one millimeter and 14 millimeter. I think I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to use both. Should be pretty cool. I think that's going to be really cool. I can just. Uh... You're gonna have it both underneath and around the side, around the circle. Just gonna have one. Just one. I can't wait to see that, bro. Yeah, just one, and we'll go from there. We just gotta work with just one. Yes, agreed. But that All looks this is will be really added cool. later. Um, yeah, I'm working. On, I'm gonna make another design where the magnets are. There's whole recesses. You just put them in like that and it'll be on the edge and I can run it on this setup uh, but right now the coil's got to go underneath I'm pretty sure yeah uh, I could hook it up and see if that's right that would be cool I gotta get the glue gun though all right I'm gonna pause it hey what's up everybody it's Papa Bell Welcome back. All right, we're going to do... Uh, that reed switch might be blown. I'm not sure yet. So bear with me as we get back up the snuff. Doing some building. We're building. We are setting up a drive coil. Um... Right now it's three <clears throat> three coils, but we're gonna change that. Is that too close? No. 
Is that really close? No. It's not that close. That's good. That's probably not going to work. That close or glue? The glue. It's like closer, Quayle. Closer. Oh, my badness. Yeah, never mind. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all right. It's all right, man. All right, so now where it's at. Uh, it should be able to, I don't know, it'll catch both both poles. Because the magnetic field is going to come out from the center of this magnet. It's going to wrap around and go up. And I think that being right, and it might cancel it out. I don't know yet. That's a really nice shot, bro. And we're just going to quick and easy do this. Now there's something about resistors that I don't quite understand. Where they go in the circuit. They go before the read switch or after the read switch. I'm sick and tired of blowing read switches if I don't have to. Leave, leave your comments below. Please. Leave, leave a diagram, leave a schematic of a circuit that uses a resistor. So give me a, give me a, somebody else's channel, another video, or whatever. You know, get, I'm going to figure this out. As soon as I figure it out, then I'll know. We appreciate you. But that's the cool part about doing it the way I'm doing it, is I get to figure all this stuff out. And if I need a lifeline, I'll ask, you know? Yeah, I enjoy it. I think it's great. It's education. It's the future of education. YouTube education is a great education. Yeah. All right, let's read switch. All right, this, this cord is really kind of irritating. All right, let's start here. Yeah, I think this switch is blown. <clears throat> wait, wait, wait. Went to zero on the... Yeah, I thought I heard it ticking. It might just be because of the orientation. <clears throat> So we figured out that uh, the read switch, or actually it's the bifo, this coil right here is not in the correct orientation to function with these magnets. The read switch is functioning though. It's just not working because something here
Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna be holding it like that. For just, that's not good. I mean, yeah, it's functioning, but not really. All right. So, so we're gonna make a bifiler coil with 14 gauge wire and one millimeter wire, and uh, we're gonna put it on one of these. And then we're going to slide that underneath and we're going to see if that'll work. I don't know. I might have to put, <clears throat> put another one, an empty one underneath this one and then slide them underneath because you know, you might have to have it, something on the other side, not be flat on this. That might not work. Never had any luck doing that. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. All right, so that's that. Um, it works, though. It'll work great. Peace out. Have a good night. Please subscribe. Adios.